This is Twit. We have a kind of successful flight from Relativity <laughs> Space. The Relativity is a unique company. They built their launcher. I think it's seventy five percent additively manufactured. So it's basically eighty eighty five percent eighty percent. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's, it's three like D almost printed. the 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 thrusters. Uh, it was, it was like, like it's like the gaskets. Basically, anything that's not metal uh, is 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 what is not three D printed on on this on this rocket, wow. and um, and it's kind of like a conflicting story because number one, they launched the rocket. It got off the ground from Launch right. Complex sixteen. Yay! At, a at success. K yeah, right. and 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 not only that. So first of all, it didn't blow up on the pad. So uh, Tim Ellis, uh, CEO of Relativity Space, is very excited. Uh, it got through max Q, that period of maximum dynamic pressure, uh, where it's under the most stresses during flight, and that was the milestone that Tim Ellis and Relativity Space said they wanted to get through uh, for this rocket. Uh, and unfortunately. Something happened at uh, just after stage separation of of the rocket. The Terran One is what it's called, and and the second stage didn't fire properly. Like well, you could see it on the video feed sputtering. Uh, it looked like it ignited, uh, and then it kind of went out, and and then they they cut the video feed, and then that was the that was the end of it. So clearly, there's some forward work to figure out what happened. Uh, this was the first launch of a brand new rocket. And, you know, failure was not out of the question. And Relativity Space did a lot to temper expectations, saying that, you know, as long as they got through Max-Q, they would prove that additive manufacturing, 3D printing, is a viable way to build rockets. And they were really hoping to prove that because they've got a factory in, in the LA area where, where they've basically built this massive production line that 3D prints these things. Right. Uh, um, they did that. And uh, it has nine Aeon 1 engines. They're all fueled by methyl ox, uh, methane uh, and liquid oxygen. And uh, it looks spectacular, this brilliant blue column coming from these nine engines all the way up. And the time-lapse images are just amazing. So I just, if you yeah, haven't seen the, these... All the journalists that wrote about it were, were going on and on about how pretty it was, which is yeah. kind of unusual. You don't see yeah, that I mean, it's, it's, and this is, this is the first U.S. orbital rocket to use this fuel. And uh, and if, if they got to orbit, they would be the first to actually get to orbit with this fuel because China has tried um, and not, not reached orbit yet uh, also. And this is what SpaceX is betting the farm on with its uh, uh, Raptor 2 engines too. So, um, uh, so if, you know, interesting to see all of that work uh, as close to, to perfect, at least through Max-Q, the initial stated goal of the company. Uh, I wouldn't, you know, take a failed orbital flight on a very first flight um, uh, as as a bad sign. SpaceX like lost three of their first four launches, uh, and look where they are now. And um, and and so you know it's just it's a very interesting story. It was hard for Relativity Space to get off the ground for this flight because of a lot of issues. Number one, there's you know glitches from checking the rocket. Then they had uh, boats offshore that happened again right. uh, during during the launch on on March 23, um, and that was the second time in their countdown that it happened. Um, and then they had weather weather problems too. So, you know, I think hats off to Relativity Space for getting off the ground for this one. Uh, several other companies haven't even made it that high. And uh, and we'll see when the next one comes out because they do, they do plan to iterate. And they're building a fully reusable rocket that looks like a mini starship called Terran R. Uh, and this was like the prototype to, to test that technology there. And that's the one everybody's really excited about, I think, right? Yeah, it looks really, it looks really sleek. It's like a, it really is like a miniature starship. It looks almost so like another science stuff. fiction inspired design. Yeah. <laughs> and I should mention that our guest of a few weeks ago, Greg Autry, was uh, a, 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 in, involved in the founding of Relativity Space. He worked closely with the with the founders. Yeah. Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. ACI Learning is a lifelong career training partner for audit, cybersecurity, and information technology professionals, transforming how employers train and professionals learn while following global standards for certification and career development training. See why ACI Learning is trusted and loved worldwide. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit to learn more. 